Now, uh -huh. when you have a game where you have over 600 total yards of offense, your starters were not in the game late, late in the game. Um, I guess it's hard to find complaints, even though there's always things you can get better at. Well, there were, there were, we, we did, we did a lot of things good. Um, we executed well early. Um, we, um, we looked like we didn't know what a football looked like a few, few series in the third quarter. Um, a lot of that was, was, you know, credit to them. They were, they decided to, to uh, you know, they were going to load it up. They were going to bring that, bring everybody, which we knew that was probably going to happen. But at the same sense, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, it, it, we, we did a lot of, a lot of good things. But there were some things in that third quarter we could have done a little bit better. Um, so yes, yeah, so there was plenty of coaching still to be done. Um, these guys uh, have, uh, have worked extremely hard this past week. We knew it was going to be a very difficult week. This was a game that really kind of concerned me. Of course, every game concerns me, but this one really concerned me because uh, of everything they did defensively. Um, and as much pressure as they, they, they would bring, we knew that, uh, um, you know, Taj was going to have to get us in some right situations um, according to how they lined up. And, and he did that. Taj did a really good job of that. And, and we knew we were going to have to hit on some shots. We were going to take some shots, and, and we needed to hit on them. They needed to stick, and, uh, and, and they did that. Kind of thought that third quarter we'd come out and try to run the football a little bit. Um, had to do, do it over again. I came out and I'd have thrown it deep every play, you know, in that third quarter, early on in that third quarter, you know. But uh, uh, I was very pleased with the way our guys played. Um, I felt like that we, we left two more touchdowns, a minimum of two more touchdowns out there in that first quarter, or first half. Um, very easily should have had 49 at halftime. Disappointed on that last drive right before half, where we went forward on forward down and didn't make it. That was some things we got to get better at. Uh, we, you know, we had a, uh, just, you know, we were there and, and uh, we on one of them on the third down call, and um, you know we just slipped off the block and the guy hit us in the backfield. But uh, again, overall, we're getting better. We're better than we were a week ago, and that was uh, that was always a plus to see. And we need to be better this week than we were last week. Any more clarity at right tackle? Well, you know, uh, Giff came back. You know, Giff was back, and Giff got some playing time, um, and showed that he, you know, he, he he's definitely competing and uh, trying to get back to the to the Giff that we saw last year. Um, but as it stands right now, no, um, Shaq is is the guy. Um, he's he's still uh, he's still the guy in there and, and providing and doing a good job. He got better this week, and it was good to see. So, but we do have some some good competition going on right there. Coach, over the course of your career, and I realize for coaches it's easy to look at that next and go, that's the next game. What do you talk to your players about just trying to keep their focus on Boston College and not not look ahead to you know what's looming on the well, horizon? Well, uh, first, yeah, they don't have to look very far, but maybe two or three clips into a into some video to find out this is a good football team. I mean, this is a team that's uh, uh, you know they got a new coach. Um, they're, they're 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 getting better every week. Uh, they're very physical. They're going to bring a lot of pressure, much like uh, much like Syracuse did. Um, we've got to be ready. We've got to be sound in how we protect, um, and we've got to be able to execute our system. And, and, and you know, and, and we've said it, said it from day one, and we'll say it again. It's uh, you know, they're going to come in here. We're going to get their absolute best, um, and and that's what we expect. Um, but we 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 got to worry about the Clemson Tigers, and uh, we got to get better today. We got to go out and have a great great week of work. Um, and, and be ready because, you know, this is going to be a very challenging ball game, be a physical football game for our guys. Always has been since I've been here for two years playing these guys. It's been a physical game. Chad, will you talk to your guys at all about since Florida State's next game is here, there might be some buzz coming out of Tallahassee, maybe some, some of their words this week. Do you tell your guys, hey, listen, let's not pay attention to that. We'll worry about that. Before. Well, I mean, our number one focus is the only thing we can control, and that's yeah. Boston College. Sure. And, um, and, and I can promise you we did enough wrong that we're going to hold these guys' feet to the fire over this past game uh, to get cleared up and get ready to go for a very physical Boston College football team. And um, I mean, these guys, uh, you know, like I said, they, they, they're going to watch video. And, uh, you know, 
there, there'll be uh, their guys are coached too, and, and, and it's it's I mean, they're not just because they're coming here, then they're not going to just roll over for us. I mean, this is going to be a tough football game. I'm telling you, um, and, uh, and our guys are going to be ready. And, then, you know, and that's the one thing we can't control is what we do today. The running game had its moments against Georgia and NC State. Mm -hmm. Has it been consistent enough early in games for your life? Well, you know, I knew last week we were not, you know, effective. You know, it was going to be pretty tough, tough sled running the football last week um, with everything they did and the pressure they brought inside the middle. And, and we knew we were going to have to win on the outside. Um, I thought as the game went, our running game got better. Uh, I, was wanting to, I was hoping that we could establish a little bit more of a running game in that third quarter, especially the early part of the third quarter, and, um, and we couldn't. A lot of that had to do with they were bringing, they, they were doing a lot of playing, a lot of games in the middle, and and uh, they were going to force us. That, look, if you're going, if, if you're going to continue to move the football, you're going to have to continue to throw the football. And um, and so I think you know when Todd hit, Taj hit the big ball down the sideline to Sammy, and that was kind of the one that I was like, okay, well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do it, and here we go. And um, and it was we hit on it, but. Uh, you know, it, it's been consistent. I think Zach Brooks continues to run the football extremely hard. A hot rod. Um, showed his moments the other night. It looked good. Um, well, I wish we could get better. Um, you know, we, we, we'd much rather be, you know, rushing the ball for well over 200 yards a game. But, you know, again, last week, that's, that's a little different circumstance in how you, you, you prepare. And, you know, these guys, uh, these guys this week, are, while they may not bring eight, seven, eight guys like last week, you know, they're still going to pressure you and bring, bring some different different pressures from their odd packages and their four downs.